Hello everybody, this is video three of our cell division lecture series. Uh, this one is going to be focusing on mitosis. Mitosis is the process of karyokinesis. Now I know it sounds like a big word, but you can definitely understand what that means. Remember from the previous video that we talked about karyotypes, karyotypes. Now when you hear the word karyo, you need to remember DNA. So for example, prokaryotes are before nucleus. So karyo means nucleus actually. Right? So DNA or nucleus. So prokaryotes will be before the DNA was in the nucleus. All right. So eukaryotes will be true nucleus. That's what eu means. So karyokinesis has to do with moving the nucleus or splitting the nucleus, and that's exactly what um, mitosis is all about. Because you see, cell division is not the same thing as mitosis. Mitosis is really about splitting the nucleus of the cell, which is why only eukaryotes perform mitosis because only eukaryotes have nucleuses. Um, like we said in the previous video, prokaryotes will simply do binary fission and they have simple chromosomes. Oh, by the way, chromosomes are called chromosomes because they look like colorful things. You see them here, right? The When they die, the cells, they, they see the colorful chromosomes and they didn't know what they were so they, they, when they originally saw them, so they call them chromo, colorful, zone, something. So something colorful basically is the name for that. But remember that um, mitosis will happen in several stages and in here you see all these stages and by the end of this lecture you should be able to identify the stages as you see in the board okay on the screen. So let's talk about what actually happens during the mitotic cycle. So it happens in four stages prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase and uh, here you have prophase which is the major uh, uh, identifying feature of that is the destruction of the nucleus, the uh, envelope, and uh, also the nucleolus goes away. And then the chromosomes curl themselves up. Instead of becoming chromatin, they become coiled in the actual familiar X shapes. Then you have metaphase, characterized by the formation of the mitotic spindle, uh, which is the device necessary to cell to divide, and also that the, all the chromosomes line up in the middle like this. Then you have anaphase, characterized by the actual splitting of the cytochromatids into opposite ends or the polar ends of the cell. And then you have telophase, um, characterized by the restructuring of nucleuses on the opposite ends of the cell, finalized by the cell actually splitting itself. I remember this by an analogy of relationships. So prophase like the proposal, it comes first, and metaphase like the marriage, it comes later. You know, then the anaphase. The anaphase is like the angry phase when after you get married, you sometimes, unfortunately, the reality is a lot of people marry wrong and find out that they're mistakes. So there you go, you have to separate. So anaphase. And then the telophase is that when you just talk over the phone, but you're separated apart over from each other. So the things will go in a logical order. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Hopefully that will help you remember. And we'll continue that little divorce analogy, although it's green grim throughout this thing because it does help me remember it how it works so here we go prophase the in early prophase which is what you see here uh, the first the nucleolus will start to undeveloped because you no longer need to make proteins so no longer need a nucleolus because you're going to stop metabolic activities also the nuclear envelope needs to go away because you need to separate this nucleus in two so you can't have the nuclear envelope in the middle there so the first thing that happens is that the nuclear envelope is going to go ahead and go away then, uh, at the, also, the chromosomes will start to curl themselves up into these structures that we call X-shaped chromosomes. So that's what's happening in the early prophase. And uh, during the early prophase, you also get this structure called the, the kinetochore. Towards the end of uh, the middle of the of prophase, the chromosomes actually attach themselves at the centromere to fibers, which are going to be carrying the chromosomes across the cell. So, the kinetic core formation is another piece that happens during the prophase. At the end of prophase, you no longer can see the nucleus or the nucleolus, and all you see is these uh, consolidated uh, chromosomal structures, no more chromatin, and it's not very organized, though, the way we look at the, at the metaphase. So between late prophase and metaphase, the spindle will form, which is when these fibers will organize the chromosomes into an actual lined up structure, which is what categorizes the next stage, which is metaphase. 
All right. Now, in matter, in the basis, it's a close-up of how the spindle works, and you can see the actual kinetic core fiber, which is the spindle fiber or polar fiber, which connects the centromere of the chromosome to the fibers which are going to be dragging the chromosome. Now, these fibers are very similar to the microtubules of the cytoskeleton. So, right before cell division, you typically have a great multiplication of the proteins involved in the um, um, uh, of microtubules. Also remember that during the cell division, the centromere will eventually need to be cleaved and it's an enzyme that's going to be doing that job. And it's also an enzyme that's going to be doing the job of depolarizing these fibers here to shorten the fibers when needed. We're going to be talking about all of that shortly. Next we have the metaphase, which is basically characterized by the formation of a line of chromosomes along the equator of the cell, which is the center of the cell. And you may notice that each sister chromatid faces towards one of the poles or the ends of the cell, where a centrosome or an area of cytosilicon growth will be producing uh, and stretching these fibers, which are going to be used to drag and sp split and then drag the chromosomes to opposite ends of the cell, which is why you also need these tiny little fibers called asters to provide tension so that the spindle, which is the name of the whole thing put together, stays in place. And notice that the fibers attach, like I said in the previous uh, slide, to the chromosomes in an area called kinetochore, which is basically when the chromosomes attach themselves to those uh, fibers. Uh, and at the center of the centrosome, in animal cells only, you have a specialized group of organelles called centrioles, which is in charge of speeding up this process and organizing the whole thing. And see, here you have a few more cells, uh, one more cell in metaphase, and you can actually see the entire spindle, asters, the kinetochore fibers, the, the, the actual equator, the asters on the corners, the poles, and all the fibers involved in creating that tugging that is going to split up and separate the chromosomes, which leads us to the next stage. By the way, the, in the middle there, you see the cell in metaphase. Now, in the next stage, in the middle of the slide, you see anaphase. Anaphase is the stage where the cells are actually splitting up or separating to opposite ends of the cell, to the, towards the poles. So what happens is that a special group of enzymes, uh, th through a chemical message, receive the signal that the chromosomes are now lined up and ready to go. And all, once the, all the chromosomes are ready to go, the cell separates. The one, chroma, one chromatid goes up, one chromatid goes down. Remember that each, each chromosome is made of a copied chromatid. Uh, of a, This is, will be the undoubled, and this will be the doubled chromosome which is held together by that centromere, right? And then it has the telomeres at the end to protect it from degradation. We talked about this before. And then the short arm up here, the long arm down here. And that each of these is actually twice the chromosome needed. And what happens during this stage is that the enzyme is going to come through and cleave the centromere here. And then another series of enzymes is going to act to shorten the kinetochore fibers or the polar fibers both here and here. to And... At the same time, the centrioles is dragging them towards the pulse, and this will happen very fast, and in a split second, the, the chromatids will be at the opposite side, which is why it's so hard to take a picture of a cell at anaphase because it only lasts a short period of time, as you see here on the left side as well. And now, when these cells actually reach the other end, immediately the cells will start to decoil de de uh, the DNA, and you're going to go from a coiled chromosome to an uncoiled chromosome chromatin. The nucleus is going to reform. The nucleus is going to come back. And you're going to start seeing something that looks less like a chromosome. See that? Less like a chromosome and more like a chromatin. Uh, you see here again. And you see the cell start to close itself up in preparation from actual cytokinesis. In animal cells, you get this cleavage furrow. In plant cells, you have the, a, a little plate that hints at growing in between until it finally separates the two of them. So this is the final stage called telophase. And then at the end of telophase, or uh, happens almost at the same time as telophase, the cell will actually split in two. And this is not actually part of cytokinesis. It's more like a, the actual fission of the cell, which has to happen only when cytokinesis, when the karyokinesis, which is the splitting of the nucleus, is ready. So when mitosis is completed, the cell will actually split. 
In animals, there was, this will happen by the creation of, of a furrow where the outside of the cell kind of bulges inwards and the cell splits into half, as you see on the left side. But in plant cells, the cell will grow from the inside out and create a new cell wall to separate them. Reason being, of course, that you can't create a separation from the outside in on a plant cell because of the cell wall. The cell is too rigid to fold inwards like that. So uh, you're not going to get that. All right. So basically, that's the last stage. It's called cytokinesis. And then rounds up the whole mitotic process that we talk about. Now, a reveal of the whole thing will basically be doing the end of the G2 phase. We got the preparation of the, all the enzymes necessary and all the energy necessary for this to happen. Then the prophase will start. The chromosomes will call up from chromatin. The, the centromeres will, will start creating the, the, the actual spindle. The, cent, the out of membrane will start to uh, destroy itself. The, the nucleus is going, to, is going to be gone. And then at the end of prophase, the spindle starts to form. The kinetochore fibers attach themselves to the, to the chromosomes. The nucleus is almost gone. Nucleus is nowhere to be seen. The chromosomes start to be moved towards the equator to be lined up, ready for division at the prometaphase or late prophase. Then, by the way, the whole ordeal of prophase is creating the proper setup or the coiling and the destruction of the nucleus to make it possible to move this with ease. Then you get the metaphase, which is what we talked about. The cells line up, but the spindles fully form. You have the metaphase plate or the equator in the middle, the poles at the opposite ends, the after fibers holding the, the centrioles to the opposite ends in animal cells and the centrosomes in general, which are creating these fibers. Uh, everything is ready for separation. The the cell the, the chromatids are facing opposite ends and ready to be split. The whole point of metaphase is to separate the chromosomes in a way that's going to make sure that each chromatid goes one way versus another way, and you don't end up with twice the chromatids, and one on one cell has both pairs basically. And then that's actually what happens during anaphase. Uh, enzyme is going to cleave the centromere in half, and a different group group of enzymes is going to act to to destroy the the spindle, and then, by the way, if you don't have these enzymes, none of this is happening, so that's very important for you to have these enzymes. And then the cells will rapidly progress towards the pulse, where at the end of telophase, telophase which marks the end, the chromosomes will uncoil themselves up back into chromatin, nucleus will come back, the nuclear envelope will come back, and at the same time, either a cell plate or a cleavage furrow will start to form to actually separate the cell. I will do another short video about mitosis that is going to focus on testing you to see if you have learned these concepts and we'll also talk about the differences between plant cell and animal cell mitosis and we'll also talk about what happens when mitosis gets out of control all right